Color Finale 2.4 new features. Hello and welcome to another Color Finale 2 Pro update video. In this video we will go through and demonstrate the changes introduced in the 2.4 version of the plugin. Let's start by first making sure that Color Finale 2 Pro has been updated to the latest version. This update focuses on improvements to our secondary correction tools by introducing new HSL masks, redesigned shape masks and two new correction layers. Let's take a look at the new features now. Secondary corrections with HSL masks. The HSL mask can be applied over an image to isolate any color range. For example, to select and adjust skin tones while keeping other colors in the frame unaffected. Select the eyedropper and click on the skin to start selecting that color range. The range and smoothness of the mask can be refined by clicking on related color tones with the eyedropper or by further adjusting the range and falloff values using the HSL sliders in the number value fields. Four new display modes let us see the masks overlaid over the input as individual layers or within the context of the image. As you can see, the mask starts going over the hat. To fix this, we add a shape mask such as an ellipse to the area we want to exclude and use the built-in object tracker to automatically follow the hat in motion. Now that that's done, let's go over to the color wheels and brighten up our selected areas. This is just one very simple example of what can be done with HSL masking. New layer, filter. With improved isolation corrections, it is only natural that we also add a filter layer to our arsenal. It includes various blurs and also sharpness. In this video we will go over one of the ways this layer can be used. We will imitate a shallow depth of field. Add the filter layer and to start with let's create a rough shape mask over the couple. Draw a pair of ellipses for the heads and complete the selection over their bodies with a B-spline shape. In 2.4 we can now group and adjust all these shapes together. In the controls on the right Clicking the Invert checkbox inverts the mask selection. Let's apply a feather to the group. Now let's apply a disc blur with a large radius. New layer, Shuffle. Additionally, we have added a layer called Shuffle that allows the manipulation of RGB channels by swapping and mixing them. On the left side of the interface, Let's swap some now and see what interesting effect we can come up with. Now let's go over to the right where the channel mixer controls are and play with the channel weights. We have achieved a kind of old color film style look. We like it very much. So why don't we quickly save it as a LUT so that this look can now be shared and or used in other projects. This concludes the main features of the 2.4 update. With this update we are also including various bug fixes and performance improvements too. Thank you for watching this video about the Color Finale 2 Pro 2.4 update. Please like and subscribe to our channel for future update videos, as well as our Color Finale Essentials series tutorials. Goodbye!